What do you like to do in Butler County? Think about how you'd feel if you could no longer do the things you enjoy. Imagine life without your favorite restaurant, your favorite shop, or your favorite leisure activity. Chances are, if there's something you like to do in Butler County, tourists like it too. Without the revenue generated by our visitors, the things you enjoy today might be gone tomorrow. Let's meet the faces of Butler County Tourism and Convention Bureau. Tourism to me is a service that really didn't exist in the 20th century in this area. Uh, we're in Butler County, which is just right above Allegheny County, which is of course a very densely populated um, urban area. And uh, in the middle of the 20th century, people didn't even think about tourism or even understand what it is. But as time went on, we began to realize that as we went out of a uh, society and a culture that was no longer in production with coal and steel and even farming, they realized that other things could be done with this area. Tourism to me is educating people about the existence of the area and educating them to new experiences and generating interest to get them to come to these locations. Tourism to me, uh, you know, is the whole reason why we're here as a business. Um, it's, you know, you try to be that place that brings the children out, they tell their parents that's where they want to go. Um, you create a memorable experience that, and whether it's the food, the atmosphere, or the beer we brew here, it's just something that brings uh, that family back to this area. For state parks, uh, tourism is all about tradition. Since our first state park was established in 1893, we've been uh, attracting tourists. And it's all about experience and f for visitors, uh, discovering wildlife, discovering the parks, our beaches. Um, and we want to provide an experience that's second to none. If you create a great place to live, everything else will follow. And we find when you have a great place to live, quality employers will locate in that community because they want to locate where employees want to live and employees want to live in communities with quality of life, with all the features and activities that the Tourism Bureau is so good at getting the word out about. An area with good quality of life attracts other businesses to the area. And when you talk to visitors, which I do on the bicycle trail, they enjoy exercising, they, they use the bicycle trail, they go out rowing on the lake, and it really brings a, a, a stress-reduced peace of mind, uh, an opportunity to spend time with family and friends. So the value of tourism really can't be measured. One of our major employers that located was looking to locate across the country and they picked Cranberry. The first thing they told me was, we love your golf course. That was the president of the company. And I knew the twinkle in his eye, he wanted to come here. Tourism provides employment, not only for our small system, but throughout the whole county. Armstrong Farms with the bed and breakfast and the weddings we probably provide 15 to 20 direct uh, part-time or um, full-time positions. But then there is the indirect employment that this system provides. And that's extremely important, and that's what people forget. For instance, with our wedding business, uh, we have numerous uh, county caterers that come in with their staff to provide um, the, food, uh, the food and dining services. We have video photographers, photographers, DJs. We have other lodging sources within the county, other bed and breakfasts, even large hotels in other parts of the county. Uh, we also provide um, a lot of um, indirect employment with other farms that provide freshly grown produce, organic beef. Uh, the list can go on and on. We have at least a half a dozen bakeries that we work with uh, when we host our weddings. Uh, so probably 350 to 400 people we uh, employ indirectly. When we first opened, there wasn't any uh, restaurants in the area of Slippery Rock, so it was hard to attract chefs and you know, qualified hostesses, qualified servers that were used to dealing with the public. And one of the things I learned is you just can't train a smile. And uh, so what we wanted was um, somebody that would buy into our mission statement of being in the hospitality industry and serving the people correctly. And then, you know, the smile was the first thing. We figured we could train the rest. There was a study done by Penn State in 2010 that state parks 
both visitor, local visitors and other visitors account for about $38 million in revenue or 473 jobs. So we have quite a tre tremendous economic impact, considering the park budget is around a million dollars to bring that much revenue into the area. For our annual festival events, like Cruise the Palooza and Fall Festival, we get literally tens of thousands of people during the day. And many of those people are regional, they drive in for the day. In the case, of course, of the Jeep Heritage event, we get people from across the United States and as far away as Australia. And I think that was the most fun that the uh, team from Australia came and came to Butler. So that made us really a destination spot. In the case of uh, people coming from the Blue Sox, again, we get baseball fans from around the region and certainly the parents of the players from the visiting teams come. So we've had visitors from a number of states because those young men who play for the Blue Sox are from colleges across the country. Everyone that's talked to me has said what a wonderful town and what a nice main street and what a great place to be and how friendly everyone is. The majority of our visitors are from the Western Pennsylvania, Ohio, New York, West Virginia area, typically within a three to four hour radius to come in. However, with the activities and events that go on through town, we've had folks come in as far as Germany, Austria, Australia. The events here in town do bring in large crowds. The last Christmas market brought in over 6,000 people to the town. We have over 1,500,000 visitors a year just at Moraine State Park. And we know that 80% of our visitors are driving greater than 15 miles. Brides and grooms have come as far as Bombay, India, uh, London, England, uh, Santiago, Chile, and Mexico, Canada, uh, California, New Mexico, and the Carolinas, Florida, New England. I can go on and on. What has happened over these past years with uh, uh, the wedding services that we do provide, people really enjoy that outdoor venue. Uh, they like coming to a very rustic area where they can still have a very elegant wedding with fine dining, but just enjoy that outdoors. And a lot of people that come from out of the area, they want that wedding weekend, and it almost becomes a destination site. I grew up in this county, and I left, and I had no idea some of the things you can do and spend days doing. And, you know, the staff has been really creative. It's uh, one of the things they've done with their visitor's guide is put different trails where people can spend days hitting all the businesses, but also all the great outdoors and having a day that uh, could be geared towards shopping, hiking, and eating, and golfing all in one day. When I tell people that tourism is the number one economic driver in Butler County, they generally don't believe me because they're thinking of the Disneyland kind of tourism. We have the repeat tourism. People come over and over again for the state park, for the golf courses, for the ball games, for the festivals, for the restaurants, for the shops, the museum, the, the historical sites. So tourism has been one of the pieces that's been um, kind of long forgotten. The last few years we've been able to really promote the Tourism Bureau has done a wonderful job of letting not just Butler Countyans know, but the rest of the state, the rest of the country, and even the world know that there are a number of unique ideas and things about Butler that maybe you ought to put on your to-do list. So that's been a great way to boost economy for the events that we host in the town. The local restaurants and businesses do a great day of business. Uh, they're happy to have people standing in line to have a seat at the table. So it's been a great boost to the economy. Butler County Tourism Bureau is always there. They're knocking on your door, asking how they can help. They're at every major community event. And they truly are there to serve the residents and, and the community. And I think the Butler County Tourism and Convention Bureau is exceptional at that. And I, and I can validate that by looking across the Commonwealth and, and, and finding no similar models from my colleagues. When I, asked, when I asked managers on Eastern PA, well, what's your relationship with the County Tourism Bureau? They go, what? What is that? So it is, we're just blessed here in Butler County by having such a professional, well-run, passionate organization that believes in the quality of life and the value of tourism and recreation. We opened in 2005. 
I became a member in 2006. Um, right now we have 22,000 people coming through our front door here alone in this business and yet I see those 22,000 people going through other doors in this community and I can honestly say that without the Tourism Bureau's uh, you know, promoting and the events they hold and just uh, getting the word out and, and consistently getting the word out, that probably wouldn't likely be happening. The Bureau has been helpful in getting us the message out there and making our uh, presence known and the visibility, but it's been a really great experience in the first year to be fully leased out, to have as many people through as we have, and to see all of the individual merchants in our center doing very well. Butler County Tourism does a really great job promoting Moraine State Park. In fact, in the official visitor guide, our map's right in the middle of that, um, as the number one tourist attraction in the county to, to bring people in. So we felt that uh, through the visitor guide, tourism does a, does a fantastic job getting people to our park. I think all the brochures and pieces of information that the tourism produce are a great way to let people know what's going on. I know here in the city building we have a rack of all of the uh, tour books and pamphlets and it's amazing how many of those disappear during the course of the year. So people come in and pick those up, particularly the visitors. I know I always give my little um, visitors packet to the, to the guests, but people pick those up to say, wow, I didn't know this was around. I didn't know this restaurant or this shop. So those pieces that people would pick up if they were visiting somewhere else, make this the somewhere else. And so people pick up those guides and use them. And I think it's a great way to let people know what we have. Butler was very honored to be recognized by Smithsonian Magazine as the seventh best small town in America. They did research based on population and what those cities had to offer in terms of arts and culture, things to visit for tourism. And to be recognized in that top 20 list was just such a thrill. So we're very proud to be number seven. Just recently, Cranberry Township was recognized by two national business magazines as being the best place in Pennsylvania to raise a family. And we feel strongly that's because of the quality of life we offer here in Cranberry Township, from our schools to our parks to our libraries. And the Tourism Bureau is so helpful in promoting that component of life. One of the things that the Tourism Bureau has been very helpful for my business is the development of itineraries. I get a lot of uh, people that come in uh, from out of the county uh, that really want to experience not only the farm, walking our trails, uh, experience uh, a homemade breakfast the next morning, uh, but they also want to, to do some things that the county can really direct them towards. So we have a lot of itineraries that we provide for our guests that may want to have a, um, a wine tour, they may want to experience some fine dining in some of the restaurants, uh, some local gift and antique shopping that they can experience, even some um, museums that are available for them to tour. Um, these itineraries are important, and when people come in from out of the area, they want something to do, they want some structure. Butler County Tourism and, and Convention Bureau, very strong asset for Moraine State Park to promote the park and bring visitors here. They have a lot of tools that a lot of people may not realize. Uh, their website is outstanding. There are a lot of links on that website to, to click on and, and to find whatever activity you want to participate in at the park, or even nearby, uh, if you want to hike a trail or a ride on a, a rail trail, there's links for bicycle opportunities on there. So a lot of good opportunities there. Also uh, through their social media, uh, we recently hosted a uh, candlelight cross-country ski program that it, the, we just advertised at the last minute. Butler Tourism stepped up, they put it on their Facebook page, and we had over 40 people attend that event with just two days notice. So one thing I've always been impressed with the staff at, at Butler Tourism. They're flexible. They also they always stay up to date with the current uh, trends in advertising and marketing and they do an excellent job to promote everything that we do out here in the park. The Butler County Convention and Tourism Bureau to me is, 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 is certainly an awesome agency in, in terms of promoting the, the county's assets outside of Butler County and across the, across the country and they do an awesome job of attracting uh, uh, visitors from outside of Pennsylvania. If the tourism board wasn't around, we would have lost a significant amount of support and awareness. 
through their print media, through their distribution network, and their presence on the web and social media, people are aware of us being here. It, not only directly of the Center of Harmony, but of Butler County and all the great attractions throughout the county that it offers. It's not just an old farming community. There is a lot of excitement happening here. Uh, everything from great restaurants, wineries, uh, local farms, co-ops, entertainment venues. It's a really great place to live. And without that promotion and support that the Bureau brings, it wouldn't probably be the same as it is today.